just do that and uh, it'll it make life a lot easier especially if you're starting on um, auto pitch matching we're gonna click disable there because um, we want to have that control over our songs we don't want to uh, uh, virtual DJ to to take over that feature and uh, I'm, I'm gonna go through that on auto gain it's very important every song is different every song has a level of volume and uh, virtual DJ automatically detects you know if, if it needs a little more gain or it, it or if the song is too loud and it needs to be cut off a little and uh, if we're gonna be using virtual DJ we definitely want virtual DJ to uh, do that for us uh, probably this is what you will have you want it to have on auto plus remember okay pitch reset on load enabled EQ reset on load uh, I'm going to uh, hit disable there because um, uh, and I will when I go through through the beat matching tutorial and all that stuff it's gonna save you some time and um, but once again I mean this is my own personal preference if you know what you want by all means guys you can do whatever you want with the settings this is only my own personal view on it okay um, effects reset on on load yes we want to we don't want a, a, a break engaged or a backspin or a flanger engaged as soon as we drop uh, we drop we load a, uh, a track on our on one of our decks auto queue I like to have it enabled because I like to set my cues or my my first or my cue to my first beat and as soon as I load that that track I like it to be on the first beat so um, uh, I click enable here auto headphones yes we're gonna go with always so that means that every time we load a song the the decks or, or the the preview channel it's automatically gonna go to our headphones okay our smart beat tab we're not lo we're not gonna be using a launch uh, a launch pad or anything like that so it doesn't matter what whatever you have here a low BPM below 80 um, I like to have it disabled for the simple reason that sometimes we might have songs that are so damn um, slow and they just clutter up our browser and it's confusing and it's uh, it just takes time to clean it up because um, for some of you probably already have a big collection of music and uh, I'll go through that in the next tutorial um, we're gonna leave that um, out of out of load playlist on smart and auto save unplayed okay now where's this internet if you have an account with virtual DJ and uh, you know you use net search and music groups and all that stuff uh, you you uh, you put your information here obviously you put this checks marks uh, the, the check marks here and uh, if if you have and and you know what net search is and music groups then you know what you should be doing here I don't have it and uh, I don't use it so this is what I have I just un uncheck it um, this is new for me the iPhone and iPad I really don't know what this is for um, if you know and um, you, you think there's something that should be brought to um, attention by all means please make a video comment or, or post a comment or send me a message and uh, and, uh, and we can talk about it on codex uh, or we're gonna leave it like that we don't have anything to do there uh, once again I leave this performances as default okay now on browser this is how I like to have it okay you're gonna you're gonna have probably old check here I like to see my volumes I like to see you know my drives uh, sometimes you know when you're playing you download a song and you download it to the desktop you want to be able to get to your desktop um, I don't have net search uh, show genius DJ I've never used it but I have it there I know I, I, I actually want to get to it and play with it genres yeah definitely if you have your music organized by genres 
uh, it, it will bring it up over here actually um, it, it will it will show the the giant race um, your, your history yeah definitely you want to have your history because sometimes you like oh I, I like that song that I played yesterday and uh, the, it's a very cool feature to have I'm gonna go through that uh, if you use iTunes you know to to manage your music yes just click iTunes there and uh, you it's going to import your whole iTunes library and it makes your life a lot easier um, I don't use it but um, when I had a Mac I like to use it it was very convenient uh, so I have nothing against it uh, it's entirely up to you your crates if you're gonna create um, if you're gonna make crates on virtual DJ yeah just go ahead and click there I don't use crates because I know where all my stuff is I have my own personal way of organizing my music uh, our playlist yes definitely we want to um, see our playlist and our favorites I don't have any favorites folder I don't have any virtual folders and their filter folders which um, are, uh, I'll go through that in a second okay whatever your database is in uh, my case mine is on drive G cause that's where all my music is um, you you can see for, for example here it's gonna tell me this is not a very big hard drive I only have about 17,000 you can see there almost 17,500 there of music and um, you can uh, do different things with it you can check the consistency like uh, if you've deleted a track or it's missing or uh, you know stuff like that you can check the consistency here you can clean the database as well for um, songs that are not there anymore and it's just taking up space in the disk I don't like to delete it because uh, sometimes if uh, I don't like to clean it um, that's the best way of saying it. I don't like to clean it just for the simple fact that sometimes you encounter that same song again later on and it's already the the the, the, the stripe the strip for it and the bit grid and the the basically the mapping of the song it's already on virtual DJ so that that might save you some time uh, the n not necessarily having virtual DJ analyze the song again okay read ID 3d uh, ID three tags I have it enabled and um, you, I mean you can you can do whatever you want on that on, on these this is um, I don't like to uh, download uh, covers I don't use covers if you like to use covers then and you want the virtual DJ to download your covers then you can just click it there and oh, this is very important where it says search uh, database I always like to put uh, add automatically so that every time I change something in a folder or every time I add a song to the library it automatically adds it to the search database which I'll go through that in the next video um, this once again it's just the info tab and um, that's it we're gonna click OK uh, 